Ooh, we got some comments happening already. Gosh. Hello, everybody. We're together this week. Yay! Woo -woo -woo. <laughs> Hope you guys are all well. It has been, how has your week been thus far? My week has been okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. My husband had back surgery, so um, I call him the Incredible Hulk because... He's on pain medicine. You don't know what you're dealing with. It's it's been interesting. So it's been a, it's been a special special it, week. It's been special. Yeah, I've, I've had to keep him in check a couple of times, but it's all good. <laughs> yes. Hi, everybody. Thank you all for for tuning in. As you know, we have a special, special, very special, very special guest today, dear to our hearts. Yes, our beautiful Beyonce. Beyonce, Be number one. Yes, because she it was her. All. It was her creation. The it whole was. Beyonce ness. Was her creation. I listened to a podcast of Beyonce on my way here, just you? You know, in honor of Karen. Did she? Oh, Kanisha. We don't call her Karen. Anymore. Oh, yeah. She's not one of the Karens. She's not of the a world. Karen. She's definitely not a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> without, without further ado, Miss Karen Ashley! <laughs> I love that I have convinced the world that I'm not a Karen. <laughs> But that's Karen with an you're Karen with an A. It's Karen with an A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I forget who it was. I think it was um, Dane. He said Karen's with E. We can't stand it, but Karen with an A is a is a world treasure. No, yeah. okay, I'll take that. Okay, it's a national treasure. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. How um, how have you been, my love? What's been going on? You know what? I am good. I have been staying busy. I'm like everyone else, just staying busy, staying creative, and, uh, you know, just trying to make it. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I was talking to someone the other day, and you know how you always say, oh, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. Well, we've got a lot of time to do a lot of things. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> you know? So I've been like, every day, like, you got to do this, you got to do that. And I mean, it's like little goals, but I've accomplished a lot in the coronavirus, which has been a beautiful thing, yeah. you know, so it hasn't been all bad. It's actually been pretty good. good. <laughs> Creatively. Good. Do you miss traveling? Because you you yeah. miss travel woman convention like every weekend. Yeah. Like how, how are you dealing with that? I miss it so much. I think what I miss is the just the social aspect like I literally am like when I'm on the weekends I'm social butterfly and then during the week I'm very happy to be a hermit like I'm very happy to not leave my house I'm happy to just like have a quiet like time with like it's just always just me and my husband but now it's like I have no nothing social like I don't you know I'm not gonna go and I mean there's just nothing you can do right now or you shouldn't I mean I don't know I'm I'm one of those like the girls will tell you I am probably the most like strict stay at home wear my mask I walk to my car with a mask <laughs> like, I mean uh -huh. I'm just one of those people that I'm just like why do I I don't want the coronavirus so I'm not even gonna <laughs> chance it you know I haven't had I've been to a restaurant in since March you know um but you know that's just my personal choice I don't judge anyone who's who's out there living their life I definitely say you got to do what you got to do just be careful and, right. and try to, you got to find joy. Like one thing I've found, it's so, so many crazy things happening that you have to find joy every day. Mm -hmm. And I hope people can find it. Like you got to do it. Even yeah. if you got to just like sit in the corner and, and draw, do something that makes you happy. Yeah. That, you know, stimulates you creatively. And it's just kind of little gifts to yourself, you know, especially because right, right now we can't, hug our family. We can't hug our friends. We can't go see fans. We can't do anything. So I'm hoping 2021 is way better. <laughs> I'm ready. I think we're I've all never ready. Been ready for a new year. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys, you watch the Emmys, but Reese Witherspoon and, and Kerry Washington had a new year's Eve party. <laughs> Mm, that was so funny. They're like, we're ready for this year to be over. <laughs> yes, I agree. Right there with them. I love those two women. I did watch the Emmys. I was like rooting for all my favorite shows. But yeah, I was like so like with them. I'm ready. Let's let's get the party started for 2021. Yes. Like, please, God, please, the doctors, scientists out there in the world, come up with the virus yes. that is not going to kill us. And yes. let's get started. That's like, I just want a safe vaccine say like let's just get that going <laughs> so god bless those that are out there working because i can't even imagine like 
staring down a pandemic and they go, okay, you need to figure this out and like figure it out yesterday. Yeah, because I can't even imagine. It would take years to to plan that out. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I mean, you look at, like, studies, like, they, I mean, I was, something was saying, like, one of, the, like, I think polio vaccine took, like, 20, 30 years, and, I mean, obviously, we're far more advanced in technology, so, you know, they're able to use that to the benefit, but still, it's, like, this is unheard of, uh, but thankfully, the whole world is working on it, so, yes. if nothing else, hopefully, we get something good and something safe, yes. very safe. Agreement and to that. Agreement. Yes more people to die from coronavirus like 200,000 souls god bless them i mean that is just like huge that's uh, it's it's like i said it's a strange time so be sure and find happy happy moments for yourself because if you think about it 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 makes you sad yeah so yeah. Well, we have some, we have a ton of questions that have already <laughs> come in for you. So let's start with our super chats. Super I found, chats. Now, I found, now let's just have a little nice warm up, Karen. So this is how it goes. Okay. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. Got it? Okay. I like that. <laughs> I like that. With her lips, like yes. I was right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is from Beatmatic Andrew. He said, what is the one thing that you want your fans and family to remember about your legacy of work? Oh, that's a good question. And that's for all three of us. So oh. we're going to start with Karen. Kanisha, Benisha. Oh, my gosh. Um, I honestly, I don't care if they remember my work or not. I just hope that they remember me as a happy, joyful kind person. Like, I don't want to be re remembered as someone who didn't live life to the fullest. You know, I hope they go, wow, she really, she really lived her life. And she really, you know, there might have been ups and downs, but she, you know, tried to live it fearlessly. Uh, and, and all the other stuff. Yeah, sure. I want to be successful. And yeah, I want to, you know, do things in life that change the world. But if I don't, if I do, it doesn't matter. I just really hope people, when I do go, they love me. <laughs> Oh, we love you know, you. like you, you want to be loved. Like I just yeah. hope that they go. She changed my life. She made me laugh. I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's deep. How about yeah. you? Yeah, I I kind of piggyback on that. I I want to be someone that is um that put love into the world. That was about unity and kindness and compassion and made people feel better about who they were. Encouraged people. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, because I mean, I mean, I think we're all complicated women. Yeah. So it's like, but at the end of the day, our whole motivation is like when we get together, all we want to do is laugh yeah. and like talk about our lives and solve each other's problems. Like <laughs> that's really all we want to do. Yeah, <laughs> so, you and know, just want to <laughs> definitely <And> eat. Eat. <laughs> oh, yes. oh my God! How did I forget the food? <laughs> No, we were saying to the to, when we do a live, we're always laughing at how whenever we've traveled, it's like, where are we going to eat? What do we feel like? That's our first thing. As soon as we all get on the plane, it's like, what are we eating? What are we doing? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, to, answer, going to, the club. <laughs> <laughs> to answer that question, I would say everything that you guys have said for sure. I would, I would love for people to remember me as someone that inspired them. Um, but, you know, I know our characters have because we hear that all the time, which has been an absolute blessing. But I would love for people to remember me as leading them to the Lord. That's one thing, because I would love to see everybody in heaven together. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I share with everything. I ditto, ditto everything that you guys said. Yeah. Remembered for something special and inspiring and encouraging for sure. All right, another super chat. All right, super, super chat, chat, super chat, chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. This one is from David Mashin, and he says, uh, "Hi, Karen, Kat, Nakia. Karen, I have a couple of autograph prints from you. What does it mean to uh, to you to have a positive influence on your fans?" Well, it's you know what I love. I love the fact that the last two people you guys have named, I know these people. Like I, oh. I recognize their names. I know them at least through social media. But David and I have met. Um, you know what? I, I think it's it, it's it's huge because I remember there have been times where I've met celebrities, and not to say that it was a terrible experience, but it wasn't everything I hoped and dreamed it would be. And I was just kind of like, you know, that saying like, don't meet your heroes because mm -hmm. it could go very wrong. Yeah. Um, but I really hope, like, I honestly, and I've seen you guys do it, and I know that most, mostly all the Power Rangers do this, we really want the experience to be everything you hoped and dreamed. Because, I mean, 
I just look at it like you love the show. Like we all went on, we left, we went on with our lives, you know, and Comic-Cons kind of brought us back, you know, yeah, kind right. of helped us fall back in love what we did 25 years ago or whatever. Um, but the fact is they kept it alive. Like I'm so appreciative to the fans and appreciative to how much they love the show. So when they meet me, I'm like, all I want is for them to to feel five years old again. All I want is to make a connection with them. And all I want is for them to go, man, for it, whatever's going on in your life, they forgot about that and they just had the best moment, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it means everything to me. Yes, it does. Oh, Absolutely. All right, another one. This one, you know, too. Super, uh, chat, super chat, chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. This is Scott the Clicky from the UK. He's one of our members. Um, he says, hi, Karen. You're, you are the only Yellow Ranger of my top five left to meet. Oh, you haven't met him. No, he she hasn't, hasn't met him yet. Oh. I can't well, you wait. Get oh, over to here's, a, here's a good question. Go on. Can you and... <laughs> go on. Go on. Say it. Can you and Catherine do Angel Gro <laughs> Grove High, please? Oh, God. <laughs> We get this every time I hang out with you. I mean, like, we hang out and they're like, uh, you guys can yell. That was the worst song ever. <laughs> I had to sing it last week. So I'm glad they loved it. Yeah. Huh? Maybe maybe if you guys just do, like, a snippet. She actually sang it. I sang the whole thing, Karen. She oh, kept going. Oh, the whole song. <laughs> Girlfriend. That was me. The key was Good like, oh, you. I just wanted a, a snippet, cat, not the whole song. <laughs> she got carried away. I got, was I like, got really into it. Somebody <laughs> get for the mic. <laughs> uh, all right. So we'll just do uh, just do the chorus, okay? Okay. Is uh, it just the main part? Yeah, <laughs> I don't main part. I'm like, what is the chorus? <laughs> Angel Grove. It's very hard. Angel Grove. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Angel Grove. Angel Grove. Oh, hi, 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 Angel Grove, hi, hi, hi. That's all you get. You got to buy the record. You got to go buy our single. We're going to put that out. It'll be on iTunes this afternoon. Oh, good Lord. I love that. I'll go to Power Rangers Playback. I love that. Okay, let me. We even had to go into a recording studio to do it. That was the funny part. We have so many things here. I think I'm going to take these off. Yeah, let's take some off. Do you remember we, we did, had to do um, go into a recording studio because in the Turbo movie we sang Row, 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 row Your Boat <laughs> and we had to go into a recording studio to record Row, Row, Row Your Boat. <laughs> that, they, they were, we're, we got to master this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It, All right, right. Another, super another, another super chat. Another one of our members. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up. Red Buick, this would be Nate. Yeah, yeah. He said, three times the awesome, you ladies rule. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Nate. That's sweet. He's very sweet. I um, want to give a, some of our members here, because I think we have a, a little bit of time to do some of our members. Yes. Uh, Tanisha Vasquez Banks says, hi, Karen. Um, Josh McWilliams, another one of ours, says, oh, my God. Hi, Karen. <laughs> and you got a rainbow and a smile. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yay. <laughs> uh, Corey Hicks, your your hair looks very beautiful. It is brown or blonde. Back, I love it. Oh, um, she's Yeah. <laughs> uh, Skyhound, hello Karen. I remember meeting you, Steve Cardenas, and Catherine back in 2009 at Adam A Expo. Oh, wow. In Los Angeles. That was my first convention. Was it? Oh, was yes. that your first one? Yes, very. And yours. First oh, oh, yes, yeah. yes, I remember that. But he didn't meet me. He didn't mention me. No. So he just went <laughs> past me. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's her. Maybe you're going to look right. Action. Okay, another super chat. <laughs> super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up. Hi. <laughs> Eric Brown <laughs> says, the question is for all three of you ladies. If you could pick an all-female Power Rangers team, who would you pick and why? Oh. We'll start with Karen Let's the Ashley. The, the Kenesha. Oh, gosh. That's hard. <laughs> There's too many amazing ladies. Yeah. Like, first, can, can it be a team like the... Um, the, the Red Rangers, remember when they, all the Red Rangers oh, came yeah. together and it was like 10 of them? Yeah. Like, we need that. Like, oh, I okay. need a 10-teamer. A ten yeah. I, 
Power Ranger friends. Um, obviously you two. I mean, <laughs> I gotta have my Beyonce and Erin. Erin is like our third, our fourth Beyonce. Yes. So she's got it here. Erin Cahill. Um, Deb, we love Deb. Yes, oh, yes. Deb has to be there. Serena needs to be there. Yes. I actually want to bring in like um, some people that weren't Rangers, like maybe Hillary. She could be, she could like, you know, maybe we like take a spell off of Diva Talks and she can be a Ranger. I don't yeah, know. That's good. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's too hard. Like, honestly, everybody, like, we get along with all the girls. Like, all the yeah. girls get along. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the most part. So it's like, we would, we would have the best team ever. Yeah. No, I think it's necessary. I really think Power Rangers need to have an all-girls team. Like, it would be so powerful. Can I have, can I have like, Black Widow and Scarlet Witch and, and what's, I always forget a name, but the warrior, the amazing warrior in um, Black Panther. What's her name? He's general. Oh, the general. Yeah, yeah. I want her oh, on the team too. Okoye. Yes, her. Oh, she's so she's bad. bad. She is bad, but she is, she is bad. Yeah. I want Siri and Okoye on our team. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I'd bring in some some others. Oh, Wonder Woman. I'd have to. Oh, her. yeah. Sold. 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 Old or new Wonder Woman? Both. I like I like the new one. You like the new I like one. The, I, I loved Linda Carter too because I used to pretend to be her when I was little. <laughs> so I like really? Linda Carter too. Underrated. But I, I really like how Gal Gal she's, does. She's, she's very amazing. Good. Yes, yeah. she is. She's yes. very good. So uh, to answer that question, Eric, I would you know uh, again I, we have a lot of the same answers. So I would have all <laughs> that, I would have all three of us. I would have Aaron Cahill. I would have Debbie. I would have Allison Sullivan. Uh, yeah. I would love to bring in Hillary too. Um, I would have, who else? Um, Valerie. Valerie. Yes, I would have Valerie. Serena. Uh, Melody. Melody Perkins. Yeah, we would just be on fire. We get together. It's like, we just, it's a love fest. Like, we can't, we can't get enough of each other. It's so great. Agreed. (laughs) Agreed. All right. (laughs) Moving on to the next super chat. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up. Hi. This is Travis. You guys have to have energy to do this. Oh, yeah. It's a workout. My arms. She's getting a 50. I know. Y'all get like, get your workout in. Yeah. <laughs> need some weights. Yes. Okay. Travis, oh, Travis yeah. Truant says, do you wish Aisha had a, had a proper send off on PR? I do only because it, she was promised one. So it was like, you know, I had, I had asked to leave the show and they were like, absolutely. And they were like, we're going to, you know, write you out. There's going to be 10 episodes and this whole, like we went through all, like we had a whole like two hour meeting about it. And the very next time I went to the set, somebody changed their mind and I was gone. So it was like, you know, I just felt like that was so unfair to fans, but I always felt like that's kind of how Power Rangers was like, I you know, they really, Amy Jo was really the only one who kind of got a proper send off in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and, and I felt like even when the other, the three that left that, you know, Twee and um, Walter and uh, Austin, you know, it was one of those things where it was like, they were just gone and we were working with stand-ins and using stock footage. It was just not, you know, and for me, I just always felt like they never gave credit to the actors who brought these characters to life and what they meant to the fans. Like, even though the fans were a younger demographic and it was considered a kid's show, kids knew and kids really would have, you know, I don't know. They just, I mean, now they, they, they ask this question all the time. So obviously it affected them. So I just think right. that it was, it was disrespectful to the fandom to kind of just write people off and, and, and quickly, you know, replace them. But such as such as Hollywood, you know, you guys know it's that's how Hollywood works, and it's not always nice, it's not always pretty, but yeah, I wish she would have had something better. What was your reason for leaving the show, Karen? I don't if it, some people might not know. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a culmination of things. <laughs> I just think overall, if I had to sum it up quickly, it was you know we weren't treated well, and we weren't you know. It was it was made apparent on many occasions that we were simply a commercial to sell toys. That's all the show was. That's all the actors were. Um, several people had said, you know, if you guys don't do this, then we'll we'll get other people. We'll replace you, like we did the other ones. And it was one of those things that now that I know, like Walter and Austin, they weren't replaced. They stood up for themselves and said, "We're walking off the set." 
we need to have a renegotiation of this contract. And Saban's response was, you know, goodbye. You know, so to me, that wasn't like you're fired. That was they made the choice to walk. Um, But it's one of those things where. I had seen him right after the movie. We went to the um, the premiere of, of the Power Ranger movie. And, like, we literally, I'm walking out. Like, it's, like, fresh off the heels of watching a, a two-hour movie that I'm in. And I, wa- I walk out, and he's standing there. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, hi. He had no clue who I was. <laughs> like, none. You know when you see someone, and they're, like, that lost look? And it took him, like, at least five seconds if not more, to go, oh my gosh, and like for it to snap, like, oh my gosh, this is Karen. And at that moment, I just realized, okay, wow. Um, And so, you know, we went into season three, and I, you know, I I was having fun with my cast, but it was just one of those things. Like, I had started working on other shows. I got to do Hang With Mr. Cooper on one of our little week breaks, and I just thought, you know what, if, if, if you want to, you know, you got to go get out there and, and do it. You know, God's it, this, this opportunity didn't come from Saban. This opportunity came from God. So you need to walk out on faith and you need to go do your thing. And if it doesn't feel right, change it. And so that's how I've always been. So I was like, I, I had to talk with them and said, you know, I really, you know, have enjoyed the time I've been on here. I feel like this has been a great opportunity, but I'm ready to try something different. And they were fine with it. And, you know, such is life. And then awesome. came to Kia. <laughs> yes. But you know what? I yeah. Steve talked about that, t- talked a little bit about that last week, his departure. There were some new things that I didn't even know that he had yeah. asked. You know, he'd, he'd gone in there and asked. I think I might have known that he had asked. Oh, I, I couldn't remember. But when he uh, said, mentioned some things last week, he had gone in, in and asked for all of us to get equal pay. Like, you know, we were all there for a while, equal pay. And they were like, no. And I think they were supposed to give him a proper send off as well. And same thing happened. Yeah. So, yeah. But you know what? I always say that conventions are our residuals. And our opportunity to still be able to um, uh, address our fans and be there for our fans and answer all of the questions. And, and this, Power Rangers Playback, yeah. to answer those questions that people have always wondered. You know, so again, thank you for being here. We have yes. a ton coming in and we're going to try to get you out of here by three o'clock. So let's, uh, let's. No, let's... no, keep going. We'll go as long as we can. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we got. You guys, you know, that's the that's the Power Ranger family. I have yeah. to say that because you guys are amazing. Steve did that. JDF did that. You guys just, um, you stayed until we were done. So. Last fan standing. Last fan standing. So thank you. <laughs> well, we are really proud of you. I know I'll, I speak for all of them because I can. <laughs> and they already know me. I will speak for the group no matter what, but we're very proud of both of you. So anything to support you too. Aww. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's, it's the same for you as well. So th- here's another super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, raise them up. Hi. One of our members. It's just Moira. Um, it's a, uh, okay. What did she say? I don't have a question. I just wanted to say hi. And I love your Instagram. Karen. Oh, Karen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not everyone likes my Instagram. <laughs> it can be <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> but not does. supposed to. <laughs> but it's her page. Yes. <laughs> it's your page. And you can write whatever you want. And that's what I tell people. Hey, this is Matthias. <laughs> Ma- Matthias. Did I? Matthias. 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 Yes. From Brazil. 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 Have you been to Brazil? I have not been to Brazil. I want to go to, it's funny, every year we talk Brazil and it just hasn't happened. But we need a Beyonce day, tour. Yeah. A Beyonce tour to yes, Brazil. Yes. Can you imagine us in Brazil? Oh. Oh man, we'd have so much fun. <laughs> I know, we need to do it. We'd have so much fun. Like, I always ask too, like now when I get cons, I'm like, okay, who's doing it? Who's doing it? Because it's like, well, who's going to be there? Because I want to know who I'm going to have fun with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Brazil true. would be amazing. It would be so fun. So, yeah. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up. Hi. Hey, girls. Here in Brazil, we love you so much. Our group, Morphin Postagram. Postagem. Postagem. Morphin Postagem is sending some love to you. Thank you. Aww. And you know what, Matthias? You, you've been with us the last two weeks on this, and I... 
pray that I am not messing up your name because I feel like more than <laughs> post a gem, I just mess up all the time. So hopefully I'm saying that and right. And we've had to say it so many times because he's always so supportive. Yes. Morphin post a gem. Uh -huh. Morphin post a gem. Morphin post a gem. Hey, she's Morphin, singing it. Morphin, Morphin. <laughs> I was like, I'm not singing it. Why just why she's saying the whole Andrew Gross song? It's like... <laughs> Reason to sing. You got her like, you got her Look who's here. trying to be the Beyonce here. <laughs> she was like, mm, him most in post jam, mm, morphin post jam. I was like, morphin post jam. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's like, hey, uh, remix. <laughs> We're on di totally different. Yes. There. Oh wow. Well. Like, one's like classical, oh. the other one's like. <laughs> You know, you know who I'm like? I'm like the, remember that SNL skit where they were like singing, wild, born to be wild. <laughs> remember them? <Yes. laughs> that's me. That's my, that's my life. <laughs> Operatic stylings are from it's, Catherine. It's almost Catherine. like, see, it re reminds me of what I used to do with the Snoop Dogg songs. Instead of uh, rapping, it would be like, one, two, three, and to the four. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door. I can't allow that. I can't allow that. <laughs> that does not work. No. <laughs> no. That does not fly with the me. Un <laughs> Unacceptable. Okay, sorry. Super chat, ready? Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise up, up high. Okay, Edward Sanchez Productions. It's time to boogie with the bear. Yay! Woo! Yeah. Can you say it for us? Say it for us. For me to say yes. Oh, okay. It's time to boogie with the bear. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you're going to keep it sassy on that one. I like that. <laughs> All right. Next super chat. Oh. Super, super chat, chat, super chat, super oh. chat, super chat. Raise them up. Hi. Oh, Hi. Wait. Hi. 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 Huh, huh. Huh. Just trying to change it up a little bit. Okay, okay. Psycho Gold Videos <laughs> is the name. Ooh. Question for all three of you. Any news on the order? Still got everyone attached, etc. We knew that was going to You know what? <laughs> the cast has changed a little bit, only because we're formatted as a TV show. So now that it's, you know, we're pitching for it to be a television show, we don't have to have all 80 Power Rangers in one episode, we can spread it out. And hopefully, you know, we've got multiple seasons planned and hopefully, um, you know, we can get it sold. That's kind of what we've been doing. Um, I've been using all my coronation, just, <laughs> you know, cause like changing to something like seriously changing a, a movie into a television show. Isn't like you can just snap your fingers and it's there. You know, you kind of have to go through the motions of making sure that you really develop the characters and you really develop the storyline. Um, but we are, we've been having some really great meetings and we've been having some really great writing sessions. And I'm so excited about everything. I mean, Nakia can tell you she was kind of part of one last week and that Kat's been a part of some stuff. We had to do a little bit of a reshoot to kind of revamp it so that it tells more of the story because we were very like, you know, just kind of showing the action when we were fundraising and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's coming. It's like, you know, it's been really great creatively. Unfortunately, coronavirus has kind of shut down a lot of stuff. And so things are opening back up in Hollywood. A lot of shows are going back into production. Mm -hmm. And we are, you know, gearing up for these meetings. But it's been good. So just keep praying for us because we have never stopped working. Like, yeah. it's literally been four, five years, almost five years that I've been working on this project. Yeah. And it has been revamped, retweaked, redone. I mean, we've kind of been just going with it. But every time we go and 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 rethink something, it's come out better. So I just yeah. consider that God's voice saying, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Because if it was like not getting better, then I would worry. But every time it's getting better and better. So just keep praying. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. been amazing watching your perseverance through it. Like, you just like a little pit bull. <laughs> it's just like a passion. I, I'm a pit bull to y'all, and then behind the scenes, I'm like, ah! ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, but it's it, it's a testament to who you are, and and it's also it's a testimony for others because people can kick you, you knock you down, but you just keep moving forward because 
when it's ordained, when it's, when it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. So it's yeah. just preparing for that, for that blessing to happen. And how much more detail you've gotten to, into it. Like you're, you've, the, you've created a whole world and a whole universe and been able to yeah. marinate in that and, and pull more than you even thought you could mm-hmm. out of it. So, um, right. yeah, so that, and that's, it's going to be amazing and it is going to happen. Oh, it's definitely going to happen. I mean, yeah. I, 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 seen some some great things flourish from from this new show yeah it's, it's gonna be it's and it's amazing it's hilarious because like after we had we had like a we we'd done a draft um for our pilot and Nakia kind of participated in a read through just because for me as a writer I like to hear it as opposed to sitting there and reading it because I can read it 10 times but it's something different when you actually hear people yeah. saying it and reading it and so I'm just listening to it like literally Nakia from last whatever day that was like I got off the call with you guys and I revamped like five scenes wow. <laughs> so even, like but I will say that's like one of the things that I always tell people like you really have to have you have to sit in your faith especially when you're chasing your dreams because when it's right it just comes like the, the version that we'd written only took about three or four days to write, but even the rewrites, they happen so swiftly. It's just a matter of hearing key notes or key things or just things that stood out to me like, oh, that's reading too long. It's, you know, too long of a scene or it needs to be quicker. It needs to be swifter. I feel like we need another element. I feel like this character, we need to push this a little bit forward. And and just in that moment, like it's it's it reads even differently from what you read just a couple of days ago. Well, so it, it's it's yeah, it's going great. So so you, you don't know. get any notes from me since it's all different again. <laughs> yeah, right. we'll have to do another one. Like I think after like a week or so or a week or two, we'll do another one. And you know, but it's yeah, it's just a, such a fun process. Like I don't know if you guys, I know a lot of our fans are aspiring writers, directors, actors, like that's the thing. You got to get your friends together and y'all have to collaborate. And like, you know, some people are going to be really good at the writing. Some are going to be really good at the directing. Some are going to be really good at, you know, the creating or the acting or, you know, and, but kind of get together and do these things. Cause it, it really can come together and be uh, amazing. Like, it's just a, it's a really fun experience. Yeah. I, I, a lot I, of hard work. I but it's fun. <laughs> just the, the, the table read, because hearing it out loud, you hear things that you, wouldn't have heard because when we're writing, cause I, I also obviously write, um, yeah. you hear, hear it a certain way. Yeah. And then when somebody yeah. else interprets it a different way, it could be better or it could be worse and, or they just yeah. don't get what you wrote. So yeah, I, I absolutely yeah. agree. Yeah. And there's a function like, uh, I, there's a function that I use on final draft. Like you can play, like press play and it'll read you the script, but it's like a computerized right. voice. So for me, it's like, that's so one dimensional, but having you like read and David was reading and I don't want to say the names cause we have like a whole group, like a whole team of work, people working on this, but like just hearing all the different voices. And like you said, the different interpretations, it really brought it to life for me. And it really made me go, okay, I like this. I don't like this. It's just, you know, but it's just a really cool process. So mm-hmm. I feel really good about the project. I do too. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Thumb up, hi. All this right, Wild Who, one of our is members, one of our members. He says, "Hey, Karen, it was great to meet you at GalaxyCon in Richmond the week before the COVID shutdown." Oh, he was there. <laughs> we were having so much fun. <laughs> oh, this was a. He said, "What Richmond? Richmond? Oh, yes, yes. That was good for you guys, right? It was because uh, it's the second he- year." Yeah, it was, it was like, I mean, I, kudos to GalaxyCon. They had really did a great job of building that show. Like it was, I mean, the attendance was through the roof. It was fun. I mean, it was such a fun weekend and little did we know, like the closure was going to like, was looming. We all were like, oh, you know, it'll, you know, it's not, it's going to come to America, but they'll handle it and take care of it. Next thing you know, we were at, we were at another show, me and Nakia that following weekend and I mean, literally, we were making plans and and getting ready to go to a show, and they called us and said it's it's canceled. The day before, and yep. The whole year's been canceled. Yeah. Twenty twenty sucks. <laughs> we had to go to and sucks. How, how did a whole year get canceled? Like I haven't seen you guys in person I since know. March. Yeah. Like that's 
Right. It's so not us. Yeah. Like you we go to lunch at least once a month. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, like, or we see each other at cons or we like plan our lives. Like we had this whole plan. <laughs> We have our breakfasts. We typically have our breakfasts yes. and we haven't had that. I miss that. I miss that. I miss that. that. Yeah. It's always like a two or three hour event. <laughs> There's always really good food involved. Yes. And good coffee. And, and good problems. ketchup. And we, yeah. It's like our life problems are solved. We reach world peace. We work oh, it all out. All of it. All of it. <laughs> we yeah. do. So hopefully we'll be back to that soon. Yeah. God willing. All right. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. This is Dijon Brantley. Uh, Karen Ashley, can I hear you say it's time to boogie with the bear? <laughs> it's time to boogie with the bear. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you did you just improv that line or was that in the script? You know what? There were a bunch of um, lines. Like I literally said that. And I mean, there was like a thousand, like I, they had me say like 20 different things. Oh, really? Um, and so, yeah. So it was one of those things where um, that was just one of the takes, you know, but it, it ended up being the, the, the funnest one. <laughs> and it stuck. It's cute. It stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Oh, this is Scott's beautiful wife, Kirsty. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Super chat. Raise, Raise them up. up. Hi. This is Kirsty Bicklicky. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Karen. Was it true you were coming to the UK in April this year? That would have made Scott's birthday complete. He's top five Yellow Rangers. Aww. Hugs. Aww. I I believe I was. Yeah. I don't know that it had been announced. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully they reschedule and I get to go in 2021 because they're, you know, 2021 is being planned. You know, we we're moving forward, whether or not, you know, we're able to or not, we're everybody's planning for 2021. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to come in. Uh, I was supposed to go to the UK this year and a couple of other really cool places. So I'm hoping that they reschedule <laughs> everything, you know, oh but God. you know how it goes. It's like, uh, I love going to the UK. Like it's literally one of my favorite places oh. to visit. And I, yeah, I just get lost. You know, I'm obsessed with all of it. So, yes. um, so hopefully, yeah, I get, if not email the Comic-Con and say, we want her, we want her, we want her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it works. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Australia. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to get to Australia, too. Anyway. Yeah. All, right. All right. Another super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super super chat. chat. Raise them up high. Uh-oh. Remix. <laughs> Mr. Jones. If Nakia doesn't beatbox, the day is not good. <laughs> <laughs> not complete. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones says, y'all are the best. Always keep inspiring fans around the world. We need more positive vibes these days. Oh, we thank sure do. you. I love your animated character here. Oh, he's an artist. He's the guy who actually um he he did a he he did a poster for us for Ranger Stop and Pop. Oh and he did those characters, you know, the ones oh. we're using on our badges. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the poster with all the all the people that are coming? Him and his wife are artists and oh, no. they did the artwork. So wow. he is so talented. You guys support him. So talented. Oh, I love that. Because I was just he, in his um his little badge, his little circle, it's an animated character. And I was like, that is really yeah. well done. Yeah. Very nice. And yeah. speaking of yeah. conventions and our art, we Karen and I own co own along with Mikey Bioni, uh Ranger Stop and Pop. Would you like to tell a little bit about Ranger Stop and Pop, Karen Ashley? Absolutely. Okay. Ranger Stop and Pop is the biggest <laughs> adventure in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Look at you putting on her makeup. <laughs> it is the biggest con adventure in Atlanta, Georgia. It is happening March 5th through the 7th. And uh, Miss Beautiful Catherine is going to be one of our Woo! guests. We are so excited. But yeah, we it's, it's you know, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of one of those things where we were, we go to a million different cons and I always kind of thought, why don't we own one or why aren't we doing our own show? Like, you know, I think it would just be so much more personal because we kind of experience it as guests, but we also experience it as, um, you know, we go to shows ourselves. So it's one of those things where it's, it's just a good time. It's we're going into our second year. We're so excited. It's at a new location at the Weston Buckhead in Atlanta. Um, 
prime real like, estate there. Huh? I said prime real estate there, right? Close to yes. France and yeah, yes. much better. And I'll just do a little plug as well. I yes. would say as a guest that you, you're going to get a, a different experience because they've done so many cons. They've really tried to bring in things that are very unique and original and so you get, you get like, for example, at, at one of our panels, we did a game show, which was really fun, which involved the audience. But they have a lot of fun things like that. They've really put a lot of thought and effort into making it a, a really unique experience for the fans. Um, and yeah. they have a lot of amazing guests coming this year too. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Our theme is actually Power Rangers. We've got the cast, the whole cast of Time Force coming. And we also have um, Dragon Ball Z and My Hero Academia. Yeah. So the voice actors from those two amazing shows. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, we, I mean, we go to cons and like you guys watch on YouTube, you'll see like we get asked the same 10 questions at every single panel. And you know, we wanted it to just be a different, more personal experience, right, Nakia? Yes. yes. And so we, we we try to do that. Like everything is is trying to be more personal, more um, a big. We want you to have a deeper connection to to the show. Yeah. And actually, um, in in regards to the panels, we we like Kat had mentioned, we made them unique with the uh, game show with the uh, what was it? Um, uh, the, we did the uh, newlywed newlywed game. We're also yeah. going to be bringing um, who knows it best. So Ranger Stop and Pop will probably be the first convention that we bring who knows it best is one of the panels. So Can't then our face. Yeah. So so you know, we, we just have we just have great things coming. And you know, you've almost been with us an hour and we still probably have about twenty questions left for you, Erin. <laughs> So we're gonna try to speed I'll make this my up. Answer shorter. I'll make them shorter. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna go to the next one. We're gonna we're gonna shorten our soup our super chat. Super chat. Okay. Super chat. Raise them up high. <laughs> William Patterson. Hi, Karen. Met you at Pensacon twice already. Hope to meet you again, and hope you get uh, to get your autograph on my book my mom had made for me. I love you all. Aww. Mm. Yay! I, I I don't know if I can say this, but I'm going to Pensacon in 2021. So I will yes. see you. You posted That's it. You posted it. So yeah, you can say I, it. I, I think it's been announced. I always worry because I'm like, do they announce it? Do they not? So yeah, I think it's it's that cat's out the bag. I will be there in February. Awesome. That was the last show I did before shutdown, lockdown. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Well, that's such a great, that's a great one to end, uh, or yes. to, you know, end on. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. It's a really fun show. Fun city, fun team. Oh, they're, they're amazing yes. in Pensacola. That's yeah, great. I Pensacola. will, maybe one day I'll go. Yes. Perhaps. Maybe I'll just peek through the, I'll peek through the windows and be like, can I come? People? Uh, <laughs> no. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, do, I hope we can do more shows together because we, yeah. we don't get the chance to do that all the time. Like no. it's almost like the, the, the con owners are like, okay, I got one girl. We don't need any more. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I got a yellow, so we don't need another, like, it's, it's just true. kind of weird the way they think about it. They don't realize that everyone are a part of different seasons and fans, you know, they love you. You know, they've got different loves with Power Rangers. They right. love all the seasons, you know? Yeah. So, yep. Yep. Get it together, people. <laughs> well, we know that we're going to be at Ranger Stop and Pop together. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's going to be a party. And New York Comic Con. Yes. 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 Okay. Barry Butler. Super chat. Raise my pie. She is one of our team members. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay, it's my turn. Hey, ladies. Love you all. Hope all is well. Hey, Karen. It was a blessing meeting you this year at Galaxy Con in Richmond. You are amazing. Amazing. Hopefully take a picture with you and sing a song with you. Does that sound good, she said? Hey, let's do it, baby. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> she, she's been a, an amazing a team member as well. Like she's almost since the be, I think we started our team membership back in May and uh, Scott Biglicki had been there, Allison, It's Amora. So many of our, our team members have been with us for, for months, and we are just so grateful that you're supporting. Yeah. Yes, we are. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yes. All right. Super Chat, raise my pie. Skyhound008. One or of our as, members. Or as Nakia calls you, Skyhound. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to get over that one. <laughs> no. Okay. Regarding the Ninjetti costumes, I heard Steve's assessment, but I want to know what you and the others think of them. He said they're, they're, they're like pajamas. LOL. 
Yeah. Uh, they were probably the most comfortable costume, but yes. they were honestly the most difficult costume to get in because it had like 15 different pieces. Yes. So you couldn't dress yourself. Um, you kind of like you, there was like a jumpsuit and an overlay and then the this and the gloves and the shoes were terrible. Cause they were actually those, um, like, you know, those karate shoes, like the With ninja the kind of shoes. Those yes. were awful. That is <laughs> yes. That, but no, but the costume itself was like pajamas. Like it was the only costume that was comfortable. I, I honestly thought up until that point that they were trying to kill us <laughs> and torture us. <laughs> that movie suit was beautiful on screen but was like so heavy and so tight and so terrible so i the the ninja costume was well like it was well received <laughs> yeah it was like silk pajamas so the, yeah the, the movie suit real quick um did you guys have to wear them for long periods or did they give you breaks you'd like do a scene and then you'd be able to take off the top or how did that work um, we would wear them for about 15 minute intervals, but you could never just get out of it. So we wore like, it was almost like a Spanx, like a white, like silky Spanx underneath so that you could slide in it because literally it was like, it was like, I don't know if it was like raincoat material, some kind of vinyl. So it didn't give, like it was, it was skin tight. So you had to slide in it, but the top part was so heavy because of the muscles and just the way that the, the shield and all of that was built um so we'd wear it we'd be in the for about like 15 minutes a take maybe like a take or two and then they would take it off of us and someone would stand like some they literally had six people who came and they would they would hold it and stand in front of us just so that we could like our bodies could breathe um but because yeah because of the material they they realized like they had um PETA poor PETA she had been shooting the week before, like all of her alpha stuff, and her body had a reaction because it wasn't, it wasn't, the material didn't allow your body to sweat and breathe properly. And so her whole body like swole up, like she had to go to the hospital. Yeah, she like, it was like, it was like, I guess whatever happens to your body, if you're, you're not able to sweat or you're not able to like release purge, you know? Yeah. And so because of that, they only we were only allowed to wear them for 15 minute intervals and someone would literally stand in front of us and hold it, you know. Wow. Um, but they were terrible. Like it literally our necks, your neck. Like I had braids and a, a, a 25 pound. So you were like helmet. this. So you had braids, yeah. <laughs> there was like six packs of hair on my head plus 25 pounds. Like one thing I will say when I came back, I was like ripped. Like my body was the best it ever been. I want that suit back. I'll just sit here and sweat in that. Yeah, you didn't. You your 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 typing, your um writing, but wear the suit. You'll be like twenty pounds. Yeah, the I'll just day. be like sweating and fine as hell. <laughs> oh, I love that. I All love right, that. Next super chat. All right, let me Lamont click Lamont Smalls. Smalls. Ooh, a red super chat. Thank you. Thank you, Lamont. Super chat. Raise him up high. Hi. While I love Kat and Tanya, how do you think your character would have been if Aisha or even Kim had been in Zio or even Turbo? Good question. Mm, that is a good question. I think I think I would have been best friends with the two of you. <laughs> like, you know, I, I think Aisha would have continued to be bubbly and, you know, she was just a bubbly character. And um, but she also was like very sassy and very bossy. <laughs> I would have continued <laughs> to be myself. <laughs> Some similarities, huh? <laughs> so similar. <laughs> It's funny. I, I, you know, we're going happy as her though. I don't think, I think she's like, like, she's like the perfect little rainbow. <laughs> we were just looking at, um, well, cause one of your episodes is going to be airing soon. If we can, um, uh, in the upcoming week, um, should we say the name? Yeah. 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 Um, where there's smoke, there's fire. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, we were looking at your character and talking about that and how, how bossy you were, which was so funny, so cute with your little clipboard. Oh, yeah, she was serious. And you were like, do you have a fire, fire, fire safety, fire safety, fire safety. It was <laughs> give, give the girl an inch. She took a yard, let me tell you. <laughs> that was like one of our first, like, I think that was like one of our first, first, like, episodes. Like, it was probably within the first two weeks of being on the show. Oh, so really? I was, you know, yeah, we were still like figuring out what it was, but I like the fact that they would give Aisha those kind of moments where she could, you know, be 
completely joyful and but yet completely bossy and you know and but she learned she learned a lot about herself in that episode yes <laughs> she, yes it was it was a good episode very cute all right next super chat super chat raise them up high big licky studios my three favorite female rangers love you all oh love you too Thank scotty, you, scotty. All, all right, right. Oh, the, Chris the chris channel, channel. One of our members. Yes. Super Chad, raise them up high. I love you guys and I love you, Karen. Heart, heart, heart. From the Chris heart, channel. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> heart, heart, heart. <laughs> my heart out. Bum, 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 heart. Bum, bum. Heart. Yeah. Here's my heart, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Super, Super Chad, raise them up high. Cat Yellow Ranger. Aisha and Tanya, how do you feel about being an inspiration for young black girls? And do you keep in contact with the other crush girls? I do. I actually keep in contact with them. Like, yeah, we're really good friends. We talk. We um, text each other. Um, yeah, I mean, they're they're like, crush was like my start into the business. Like, I really, like, every ounce of worth ethic I ever got was from crush. Because we would we work so hard, um, so yeah, they are sisters to the end. And oh my gosh, it was funny because I don't know where I was when we were shooting, but I didn't even think of the magnitude of being, you know, a black woman on screen as a superhero. Like it didn't even. I was just so happy to be an actor. Like I had finally gotten that break and I was finally on a set and I was finally doing what I wanted to do. Um, but that's one of the things that I love about cons because it's like, I've been able to fall back in love with the show and, and fall back in love with it through the eyes of our fans and to see the impact that it made. I mean, representation, I mean, we talk about this all the time. Representation is so vital, mm -hmm. you know, and one thing Power Rangers was, is it was so ahead of its time. You know, there was every single kid in the world was represented at some point and we weren't just like the sidekick you were actual hero you were someone who saved the world and I feel like that's what kids need you know I don't understand how Hollywood hasn't caught up you know it's it's crazy to me I was so proud like we like you brought up the Emmys like I was so proud watching the Emmys because it was one of the bigger years for you know um African-American shows and and just you know, we were nominated in, in so many categories. We didn't win them, but we were nominated in so many categories. And it just showed how impactful the work is right now. But then I was kind of like salty as well, because not one single Latin X person was nominated. And I go out of all of Hollywood. I've never been I've never been on a set where I didn't see someone of a different culture. And how do you not recognize latinos in hollywood like it just blows my just mind diversity, but, period though i would i would even piggyback and just say diversity in in its um in its essence just everybody you know it, yeah. we're a melting yeah. pot the usa yeah. the world the world is a melting pot yes. and there we all represent uh different facets in our life and it should be represented um in emmys and oscars and and all that there's so many talented people regardless of so, their skin color but it just doesn't ever quite reach that unfortunately and you know what so but what upsets me about it because someone once told me they go hollywood can imagine we can imagine you know vampires we can imagine dragons flying through the air we can imagine superheroes with powers that don't even make sense like it doesn't even make sense that something like you have these car crashes and people walk like walk out of, of the car you know and all this unimaginable amazing things but you can't imagine diversity you can't imagine someone different than you in your world so i hope and pray like that's one of the things that i am have been so like just with any project, any project I'm a part of, I'm always wanting to create opportunity yes. and create a world that include that is inclusive. It has everyone. It has yes. all my friends. You know, my friends aren't they don't just all look like me. My friends look like everything. So, yeah, um, hopefully we get that opportunity. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. We we need to make those. those there is, I, I have I was noticing um, I picked up a magazine the other day and I was like really happy to see that there was multiracial relationships represented. There was like just a, an array of Asian, black, white, Hispanic. Yeah. And I was like, 
Oh, I like I noticed that. I noticed that there was that change, and I think that's really amazing. And mm-hmm. and it, it's about bloody time. Excuse my language. Yeah, it bloody is. time. You know what's funny, <laughs> is every time we get one, I mean, we get Black Panther, and it's like the highest grossy movie ever, 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 ever. You get like Crazy Rich Asians, and it's the highest grossy comedy ever, ever, ever. You get all these cra- these movies, and I'm like, if Hollywood is all about the bottom line and the dollar, then why aren't y'all putting them out? <laughs> like, like there should be like it should be flying off the shelves because people want it. People want to see it. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Representate that people want to see themselves. Right. They want to see themselves on the screen. They want someone they can, can, can relate to. Oh, and I didn't even answer your question. Um, the question that was just asked by, um, Oh, how did you feel? Kat, how did you, feel? how did I feel about, about being an being inspiration. inspiration for young black girls? I am so honored. I am so <laughs> honored. Um, I had no idea because, you know, social media wasn't around back in the 1990s. I didn't know <laughs> what my character meant to other people and to know. And, and I've only found that out in going through conventions and social media. Um, I, I am just baffled. It's brought me to tears many, many times um, mm-hmm. at how how much people have been inspired by my character, by um, things that I've said or things that I've done. So I just thank you guys for watching and uh, allowing me to enter your TV screens. <laughs> Amen. All right. Yes. Okay, we're going to speed it up a yes. little bit here. All right. So we keep saying that, but we're just keep very saying, I keep we're saying very that I'm to talk a lot, but I still go on <laughs> these long soliloquies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Super chat. Raise them up high. Ryan GBA. Um, what did you learn from being in Crush versus MMPR? Well, Crush was my first experience of, you know, I learned everything. It was one of those things where we had to, you know, like we were like, oh, we have a dream. We want to be in a group. We want to do this. We want to do that. Well, our my manager at the time was like, well, you want to do it, then you need to like practice, you know? Mm-hmm. We literally had to, we had to rehearse for a year before we could get our first show. <laughs> Wow. So we literally were rehearsing, rehearsing and rehearsing for this one big show that they planned for us. And it was like a showcase. Um, but within that year, we were we got a record deal like that was like coming up with the demos that was coming up with the routines that was doing the videos that was, you know, do, having this big performance. I mean, we literally worked our butts off and it was just one of those things that, you know, I remember once he we were rehearsing, he like pulled the plug and the music stopped and we had to keep going. We had to keep singing and keep dancing. And that actually happened to us in real life. So it was one of those That's things. Great. I always say, though, that moment helped me with my powering tradition because when I went and I was like, oh, I dance. They were like, OK, dance. <laughs> and I was like, OK, we have music. And they were like, we don't have a radio. <laughs> And so I just had to like dance with no music, nothing. I just had to hit it. But because I was in crush, I knew how to hit it. I knew what to do, you know? And, um, it was just, it's just a work ethic. It's, that's why I always encourage people to go and like go to acting classes, go to dance classes, go to any kind of class. I don't care what it is. Go to, go to class because there are things you need to know when you go into an audition room. There are things you need to know when you, you know, are on a set, you know, there are just certain technical things you got to know. And it's, it's not something that you can just, you know, you can't just wing it. It doesn't, it doesn't usually happen that way for people. Yeah. Right. No, it's, it's great. It's, yeah. it's true too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Another super chat. Super, super chat. chat. Raise them up high. Hi. Karen, regarding the suits from the MMPR film versus the show, what would you consider the pros and the cons with both? Hashtag Nakia's laugh is in it is Agree. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> that laugh had us going many a night. <laughs> um, well, obviously, the MMPR TV suit was uh, terrible. It was like wearing your underwear. You're in spandex. There's nowhere to hide. There is nothing that can save you. <laughs> you would not have the cheeseburger at lunch because you will see it in the next episode. <laughs> the uh, movie costumes were just heavy. They were just like they weren't they were built for looks. They weren't built to fight in. They weren't built to stand in. They were heavy. They were impossible. But they looked amazing. Yeah. Like. I wish they, they, we were supposed to take those suits back to the television show, but they were just too, like, um, 
they would fall apart. They, it, I mean, there's so many things you guys see there in the movie, like coins are popping out. I mean, they just were too much work. <laughs> they were too much work for the fa- for the wardrobe department. So we went back to the spandex. <laughs> to spandex. <laughs> All right. Uh, Super Dad, raise them up high. Dennis, Dennis Prime. Prime. Hi, Karen. I met you in Hamilton, Ontario, back in 2015. I think. Oh my what- gosh. <laughs> What was your experience like in Canada? Go Canada. Yeah. I love Canada. Um, they are super strict. <laughs> like they like they like searched us like we were criminals going in that country. Really? <laughs> but I mean, it, I obviously, I mean, they don't have the problems we have in America. So search they away. <laughs> search me. <laughs> you know, it seems very peaceful in Canada. Yeah. No, I love Canada. Canada was great. It was, um, how, I, I'm, I've been lucky to go to Canada a few different places and a few different times, but I always love it. The people are so nice. So nice. It's just, yeah, it's like super warm experience and I love the weather there and the food was amazing. Um, I, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I, I've been, I haven't been for a convention, but I've been for, I've been to Vancouver and Banff and Calgary and the people, like you said, they're just so relaxed and kind. Yeah. And just, yeah it's a different, different vibe. I've yeah. only different. been. We need some of that over here. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> what did we see? What did we go see there? The Ni- Niagara, Niagara Falls. Falls. That's the only, oh, yes. the only, yeah, that's yes, the did. only part of Canada that I've seen and it was gorgeous. gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. All right, next Did one. Did you guys actually, like, go in it? Like, go on one of the boats or anything? No. We didn't, because it was after the convention. It was too late. The boats were, were like, yeah, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, me and David were able to, I think it was me, David, and Zach. We were able to do that. And, That's I fun. mean, we, like, went into the fall. Like, it was That's crazy. So soaking wet, but it was the best experience ever. We were really surprised at the edge that there was no um, fence. Like, kids could just. There's like, nothing. <laughs> I have a video. I'll, like, try to find it and repost it but like literally it's terrifying yes. and they say they don't talk about it but a lot of people commit suicide there because obviously yes. you that can was just, one of my that was one yeah, of my questions yeah it's a problem but they don't they don't publicize it because they don't want to encourage people to do that right. you know right. but oh my gosh it's it's the most beautiful terrifying uh How, natural so powerful it's yeah, it, yeah it was yeah it's amazing all right, next super chat. Super, super chat. chat. Raise them up high. Cat and Karen do the morphing sequence, and then Nakia and Cat do the turbo sequence. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't even know if I remember the turbo sequence, but you know, maybe yeah, Zio. You got, you got it. Come on. Okay, you got this. Okay, Karen, go ahead. Uh, saber two tiger griffin thunder sword power. Oh wow! I think I just said pink ranger power. And then turbo. You ready? <laughs> Shift it, <Jesse>. Dusty. <laughs> Shift it this way. Take two. Take three. Take Shift it to turbo. Do we need a rehearsal, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few months. <laughs> Zero Ranger two, yellow. Zero Ranger one, pink. Good job. I felt like I was there. That was all slow motion. It was like Jerry <laughs> Ash. <laughs> The geriatric <laughs> rangers. Swim in the turbo. <laughs> oh, oh, now, y'all. Oh, we are now. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Thank you. Thank it's you. Corian. Okay, All right. Red Buick is next. Red Buick. Super, Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Yeah. Nice. This is <laughs> Every time someone said negative things about the order, I said, Karen doesn't let people down. My faith never wavers in any of you. Ah, oh, nice. Well, thank you. Thank you. Drop them yeah, up. it's not an easy thing. And I, I, I encourage people to, they've obviously been super patient, but it is what it is as far as the road we've had to travel. Yeah. But I feel like it's made it more, um, it's made it better. So all I can do is just keep pushing forward. Yeah. Yeah. I, you yeah. know, we, we're going to have hurdles in our lives because that's just what happens. And I just feel like God sometimes, and I've said this to you and I'm going to tell everybody too. I said, sometimes <laughs> God has to weed people out that are not supposed to be involved, has to, has to do some fixing and some cleaning to get you yeah. to where you're supposed to be. And I, that's, I'm just a firm believer in that. And 
Sooner we'll be done. <laughs> oh, I like I like the end. Bring it in. <laughs> All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. I yes. think. Yes. All right. All right. Super Chat, Chat. Raise, raise them up high. Guys. Tim. Tim. Hey, Tim. Tim Dacus. Hi, Karen, Nakia, and Catherine, my pretty Power Ranger friends. Oh, hi. Glad you're doing okay. I miss seeing you this year. Love you from Miami, Florida. Thanks. Aw. We Thank hope to you. see you at RSP. Yes. Tim. Yes, Tim. Oh. Yes. Okay, next Super Chat is Chanzo Tambuzi. Who is Super Chat? Super Chat! And the jazz styling. <laughs> Chan like there's a jazz version, a hip hop version, a country <laughs> opera. We've we got to we got to mix it up. Talented, yeah. man. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah. Chanzo is one of our our members as well. Karen, it's been seven years since my proposal to you oh, in ooh. Miami. <laughs> ooh, best experience ever. You seem to get a it lot. Feels of like yesterday, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Kamani. I know. <laughs> I know, right? There's a new man in town. You seem to get a lot of work right after PR. How did that feel? Um, I didn't feel like I did. I felt like I was like pounding that pavement, honey. It, I feel like anything I've ever gotten has been a journey. <laughs> but it, it's been great. Like I honestly, I, 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 I feel so blessed because I the other day I was like thinking about it and just randomly I've worked with so many great actors, comedians, like true legends. And I, I always felt like I was just in a class, like I was in a comedy 101 or something. And I, I just was there to react to them because I mean, but it, it's, it's been amazing. Like I, I've honestly can say that I, I've had a really, really fun time. Oh, oh man. That's awesome. All okay. Right. CJ. Super, Super Chad. Chad. Raise them up high. Hi. CJ Ken Kennedy Robbins. I hope I said that right. Kennedy or Kennedy? One of them. Hola, Karen. Are you ever, uh, ha I think you mean, have you ever given credit as the first Afro-Latina, Afro African-American? She calls herself Blackzican. So we'll say the first Blackzican. <laughs> Actually, I call her that. I don't know if she calls herself, but you know what? I, I, I didn't, I mean, like I said, it was, it's one of those things that it's, it's, uh, it, it, I wish I would have been able to like know that at the time, but I'm kind of glad I did not because I would have been like, Oh my gosh, that's so the like, big, you know, but yeah, it's like, it's such an amazing thing that Power Rangers was able to do that, you know, and able to, um, put forth a, a diverse cast and give, you know, other Afro Latino kids the opportunity to see someone that looks like them or acts like them or just anything. I think it's just a, a beautiful thing to like know that, you know, you can be different and still be loved. You can be different and still be heroic, you know, and I just, I'm so proud of that. Yeah. You know, share with people because they may not know that you look exactly like your mom, who is ethnicity. I'm like the black version of my mom. She's Mexican. <laughs> my dad is black and I'm a blackskin, <laughs> is what I like to say. But no, I, I feel like, you know, it's one of those things, like being of mixed race, it's been a beautiful, it's been beautiful. But I mean, honestly, in, 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 in acting, I'm, I'm just considered a black uh, you know, African American right. actress, which is still fine to me. But I'm glad to to be able to, you know, my character actually in in the the Order Project is Afro Latina. You know, and I made sure to give her that and give her the opportunities to show that that you know Latinos come in different shades. Like we're, you know, there's different, there's many different shades of of black people, and there are many different shades of Latinos. So it's just one of those things. But yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Aww. Allison. Allison. What a cute Hello. picture. I love that picture. Okay. Super, Super Chad. Chad. Raise my pie. Hi. She is one of our wonderful members as she well. She is. And also manages our Discord channel. Yes. That, that Nakia created recently. Um, I love hi. it. Hi, Karen. Wonderful to see you on here. What is your fondest memory on set and why did it stand out? Oh, there's so many. Um, I don't know. I think that the funnest times on set for me were the times where we were just goofing around and being silly. Like there are so many times 
they would say, you know, uh, places, please. And then we would be like dancing and then they would say, okay. And then we would stop and be like super serious, like sort of. <laughs> and then as soon as they said cut, we'd be like humping on each other. Or something. Like, you know, we were so goofy. Like we were the goofiest people around and we literally lived to crack each other up. So those are the times that I think of, you know, and, and it's just, I, I mean, I don't sit there and think of like a particular scene or anything like that. I always just think of the fun, the fun times behind the scene. Yeah. You know, I used to always like, David would do this dance where he'd get the broom and he would like, like he would kind of do the running man and, and have the broom, but he <laughs> needed a broom in order to do it. <laughs> anyway, David Fielding? <laughs> so it David was the Yost. funniest thing. Okay, like he had, David Yost, yeah. He had like the fun, it was the funniest <laughs> dance, you know? And so for me, it was just those kind of moments. That's... Do you remember when you tried to kill me on the freeway, making <laughs> this, this, this little Aussie driving on the freeway, and you're like, just follow me. flew <laughs> totally over my head. Like, I didn't even realize, like, <laughs> she's never driven in America. Like, I'm just, like, in my own little world, <laughs> and I'm like, follow me. And I yeah. took cat. we went to get tattoos and hot wings. Yes. <laughs> Even yes. your first week in America and I, you get tat, tatted and I, I take you to a club and you get humped on <laughs> and you eat hot wings, you eat chicken and waffles or yes. something. Leave you know? it up to me. You took I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to leave no stone left unturned, no, I my got friend. Got, I got the whole Hollywood experience. <laughs> you, grew up, like, you grew up in one day. <laughs> exactly. oh my wow. God. That's funny. Hey, guys. All of it. All of it. <laughs> Say that last part again. I didn't hear that part. Say that again. Fight for her life and survive LA traffic all in one yeah. day. <laughs> Broke you in. I got you ready for the world. Broke me in, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys have been amazing with your super chats, and um, I don't think we're going to be able to get to some of the other questions. So in lieu of Karen's time, we're asking that um, – no more, no more super, super chats. Yeah, no more super chats at this time. Um, if you guys want to email us a little bit later or something like that, and we could try to ask her questions after that, but we want to just try to get through the super chats that we have left, which there's several, um, just so that she's not here until tomorrow. But uh, thank you guys so much. So, yes, so you. much. Um, we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you no, guys. We're so. so grateful. Thank you. So this is Ono Ramirez. 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 Super chat. Raise my pie. How did it feel to come into the show and replace Tui Trang? And were you able to meet her in person? Um, yeah, I met her once. Um, we were at a, a party at the stunt guy's house. <laughs> like the stunt team, Walter lived at this house, and I think Austin lived there too. I didn't see any of them. Um, but it was literally like the first two weeks of us being on the show. So it was like this really brief, quick, like, hi, hi. And that was kind of it. I think we both were kind of like, oh, my God, you know. Uh, it was. I mean, it, it's awkward to meet someone who's essentially, you know, gotten the job that you just had but yeah, she was right. so sweet so nice so gracious and um we we spoke for just a second um but it was I mean honestly it was daunting I mean we didn't know when we were auditioning that we were replacing people they told us that we would be joining the show so we thought we were joining the cast and we were going to be Come, you know, additional Power Rangers. Um, so then when we get there and we find out we're replacing people, it was daunting. But thankfully, um, I think I was just so excited to be on the television show that that nervousness, that fear kind of just, I had to push that aside because I was like, I'm living my dream. You need right. to like live this dream. Right. So, but yeah, I got to meet her briefly. All right. I heard she was a lovely person, by the way. Yeah. I've never heard one bad thing about her. And that was, you know, way before she, I mean, everything anyone said on set about her was always positive and beautiful. And she was stunningly beautiful. Yeah, mm. she sure was. Okay. Okay. Super chat. Raise them up high. Kirsty McLicky. Hi again. Can you three beautiful ladies please cheer Scott up? He is upset as his anxiety levels are playing up. It would mean a lot. Thank you. Hugs. Scott, um, Scott, Scott, first of all, you are an amazing Power Ranger fan. He was the, our very first, first member. member and you have been just so supportive and you have to know how much it means to each of us as a Power Ranger, um, 
our fans mean the world to us because we wouldn't be able to do what we do. And you and Kirsty have been such an amazing blessing to us. So yes. we want you just to be encouraged and to know that we love you. We love you. Sing. I'm really, <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing a musical theme now. <laughs> yes. Yes, queen. Yes. And that was for you, Scott. Jazz hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know how it is. I mean, everybody, this, this so it's a weird time in our world. Anxiety is high for a lot of people, yes. but just know, Scott, you bring value to this world and, you know, just do what you need to do to, to get the, the comfort and health and, and, and peace that you need, but know that we love you, man. We love you, Scott. We yeah. do. And you know what? Look at those beautiful boys that you and Christy mm -hmm. created. Cause I know for me, my children, when I look at them and I, I get so much joy from my children, just, I, I just encourage you just to give them a big snuggle and, and remember Amen. how amazing yeah. those little lives are that you created. And remember all of the blessings that God has given you, because we, we tend to focus on the things that we don't have and yeah. as opposed to what we do have. And yeah. if we focus more on what we do have, and this goes for everyone, I think we would have a much uh, peaceful time, peaceful yes. life for ourselves. Yes. Yeah. It's <laughs> tough. Yeah. But absolutely. Yeah, everything makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ranger Vault, Super Chat, Raise them up high. Hello, ladies. Hello. Thank you for always being 100% authentic. <laughs> oh, 100% authentic, and then I'm talking then like, like this. That. Hello, <laughs> ladies. Thank you for always being 100% authentic and beautiful inside and out. You truly are Zordon's angels. Oh, thank you, Ranger Vault. Thank you. All right, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Just a shout out. Shout, shout out, out to Kingdom Hearts. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into it. Yeah, me. I know. So I'm excited. like, who, are, who, who is this woman? So she excited. is happy. <laughs> what do we got next? Kenny. Kenny, Kenny Shibata. Super Bad. Bring them apart. Kenny. Hi, Karen. Someone help me. I get your <laughs> autograph at PMC. <laughs> <laughs> She went right into it. She's so ready. That is like, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. Because I'm ready for this. All right. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll turn it down now. I'm going to behave. No. Now. Don't you the care. Key, I'm going to get off the call if you do, and it'll be all your fault. <laughs> Nakia's going to lay an egg here. Okay. Oh, goodness. Breathe. So what was the question? Hi, Karen. Someone help me to get your autograph at PMC. I want to know yours is the only one that I own. I would like to receive little talk you give when someone comes to you to sign your picture. What is the talk that you what give? What is the talk that you give to someone when they... When I don't know. Do you it's, have a talk? It's always different. I just, I just want to connect to people. So I, I usually just, if people ask me questions, I'm very happy to answer them. But for me, it's just a matter of connecting and a matter of looking people in the eye and just, you know, talking and, and just, you know, I don't know, getting to know the fans a little bit deeper than just, oh, hi, thanks for coming. Yeah. You know, I, I want a little bit, you know, my people know, like when they meet me, I love to talk. I love to connect. So yeah. there's no specific talk. It's just whatever comes naturally. I was off. She, she also wraps her lips around yours and gives you. Oh. <laughs> oh. I wanted to get that. I wanted oh. to get that reaction. Oh. Oh. Girl. No lips. You ain't going to tell them that. Corona, I get proposals. Corona, <laughs> keep that mask on. No lips. Yeah, I know lips. Oh my All goodness! All right, next super chat. A vaccine because I can't imagine hugging people. Like that would be a sad con for me. Oh, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. It's like it's it's crazy, but I'm hopefully you get hands one. And yeah, it's gonna be a strange. It's gonna be different. Yeah, much different. different. Yeah. Next super chat is Wayla Tom. Super, super chat. chat. Raise them up high. Loved meeting you, Karen, at NY New York Comic Con last year. <laughs> I remember I came there last minute on my lunch break just to see you guys. I was the only person there, not in oh. cosplay. Oh, LOL. Thanks for being awesome. <laughs> Thanks for being awesome from Wyla Top. Yeah, thank, thank you. Uh, for being thank awesome. you. 
I love New York Comic Con. That is like one of the best. That's like one of the best shows of the year as far as fun and just energy and people. And it's like, I mean, we're sitting there busy, but it's like we're it's like the costumes are amazing. It's the best. Yeah, I I have to agree. I've only done it one time and we were supposed to do it again this year. Um, So I am so looking forward to next year. We got to see a Broadway show. I mean, obviously things. We'll have to see. Hopefully Broadway is back up by then. Oh, yeah. uh, I know. It's like we have two different lives. Like what happens at the show? What happens after? Yeah. <laughs> after yes. Dark. The after dark. Path. And the food. And we the have food. after dark the adventures food. in yes. New York. I love New York City. All right. Okay. Super chat. Raise them up high. Hi. Kingdom Hearts again. Would like to ask, would you all reprise your roles as rangers again in a movie perhaps? They've done so with Sentai counterparts. Get get on it, Hasbro. Ha ha. <laughs> yes, Hasbro. Would you reprise your role, Karen? Um, yeah, if it was, if it made sense, like if it was a good, you know, I, I would hope if they invited us back, we'd have a good story plot line. You know, the OGs could contribute to the to the journey or to the wisdom of the new people. Yeah. You yeah. know, as far as storyline goes, I would yes. love to do something like that. Yeah, if it's done properly instead of just a face, you know, like when I did Ninja Steel. <laughs> I just went like this. <laughs> that was my scene. That was a pretty, that was a beautiful face. Yes. <laughs> and hey, you got to be in New Zealand. It, yes, that was amazing. Um, you got that to be amazing. there for a while. You got to, you know, there's yes. a lot of positive. There was. We're going to concentrate on we the are. positive. Yes. Yes, I would reprise my role. Um, that would be that would be a lot of fun. Just as long as I don't get in trouble by SAG. Yes. <laughs> That would be that would be a big thing. Yeah. All right. Cyrus Moore. Cy- Cyril. Cyril Moore. Cyril. Cyril. All right. Super, Super chat. chat. Raise them up high. Oh, raise them down low. Raise them up high. Raise them down low. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your favorite episodes <laughs> of season three, Karen? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> well, what's your favorite episode? I- Ah, uh, I change every day. Um, my favorite episode today is the the ninja transfer because that was when we we became Power Rangers. Oh, the ninja okay. transfer. The ninja transfer. You know what? Which I have like script for. I actually do you have the script um, for that up as uh, when you did the the Wild West one. I love that. You episode. were so cute. I love that one. That was cute. Yeah. So cute. We, we need to review that one. Yeah. That would be yeah. a lot of fun. That would be fun. That would All be right. Fun. Super Sky down. Oh, go on. So- so- <laughs> Get it together, <laughs> women. No, no. Skyhound, what aspects of your character do you think was done well in the comics that wasn't covered on the show and what could be expanded on in your opinion? Um comics are really good I love the fact that they are edgier the storyline as a whole is edgier I think Aisha's still kind of true to what she is in the comics like she's very sassy she's very much a leader like she's got a really strong voice in the comics um so I I think it's kind of this the same you know they they've done a re I love I love that writing because it's edgier it's not for like you know Power Rangers is great but it's it's written for you know a six-year-old, you know, where I think at this point, it's 25 years, I think they should shift and it should be written for, you know, it, it could still be wholesome and still have an edgier storyline, have edgier, you know, Marvel does it, all these other shows do it. So I hope one day they, they turn that corner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Percy. La- the last few. Super chat. Raise my pie. Hi. Hi again. Hello again. Next time you girls do your next live stream, could you both wear your Power Ranger costumes if you still have them? That would be awesome. Oh, well. I don't have them. (laughs) (laughs) I don't, I never, we never owned our costumes. Like, that's one thing I think people don't realize. It's the property of the television show. So they, they, they didn't give us those. We could have stolen them. Yeah. People stole their costumes. I wasn't yes. one of them. Um, I wish I was because I would have sold it for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was joking. I would have had it on a mannequin. I w- it would be in like a, a room somewhere. But no, I don't have a costume. But I wouldn't wear it anyway. Like I think if I ever wore that costume again, I would want it to be 
for something to do with the show, something important, something, you know, I've always said, I want, if I ever put it on again, it would be for, you know, something, I don't know, maybe the 50th anniversary, I'll, I'll put it on. <laughs> but we'll, we'll <laughs> have our walk, walkers yes. and we'll be in our spandex. Oh, <laughs> yes. Power Rangers, you're so phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, that would be something we'd have to think about, Kirsty. but thank you for that suggestion. They've seen us in an episode because it was um, Jason, Jason Font, Font and, and us too. We had on our Zio suits. I saw pictures of that. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. Super, Super chat. chat. Raise my pie. Hey, Denny Brock Velez, one of our members. Hi. Hola, girls. Karen, enjoy working with you at cons when I get a chance. My question to you all, were you guys fans of Power Rangers before coming on the show? I didn't even know what it was. I, I was like trying to graduate high school and I had no clue what Power Rangers was. Um, luckily, I got a crash course while I was in line waiting to audition. There was a guy that was in front of me. He knew everything about Power Rangers and he literally gave me the rundown of all of it. And when I went in, I had a better idea, but I watched an episode like that next day just because I was like, I got to see what this right. is. But, yeah. 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 Oh, that's same. Way. Yeah, I didn't know either. You didn't know. No, no, no. We were like older, so it was like you know we were like all high school, college yeah. age. So, so I didn't watch much television at the time. So I mean, now when I get ready to do a role, when I get ready to audition for a role, I definitely investigate and see what the tone of the show is, so that I'm. You know, I land where I need to land. Right. Yeah. yeah we didn't different. have like YouTube or anything like that. Like, right. We couldn't just, you know, yeah, get an episode DVR. to watch it. No. Right. All right. Okay. We got two. We have two more super chats and Yay. that's it. Woo-hoo! Yes. Super chat. Raising my pie. Hi. Kenny Shibata, one of our members, says, What? No, that doesn't say what. That says, Was. Was. Was that your character in Beast Morpher? And if so, how was it to plot the saber tooth tiger? Oh. Was that your I don't character know what in Beast? Oh, maybe, maybe the, <laughs> Help the me. episode that that Austin did. Maybe your character was in that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't know. It could have been Aisha. It could have been Trini. I don't think they ever said who that was. I think it was. Um, I I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew. Like that's the thing. I don't. I don't watch the show. I just. I love everyone who's on it, but I don't know. I have no idea. And that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd fail all the Power Ranger trivia. You guys know. Oh, that's okay. We're gonna have you on. Ooh, who knows it best? Do you want to be my competitor? <laughs> I need some nice, tasty ice. You competitor. You'll kick my butt. You've been able to watch episodes. <laughs> I can give you a nice Sunday with some tuna, some some pickles, sardines, sardines. Oh, we'll hook you up. Why would I have to do that? That's part of it. That's if you lose. If you lose. Oh no! I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to play no more. <laughs> <laughs> that expression said it all. All right, last super chat for the day. Super chat. Raise them up high. Hi, RX Superstar. Hi. We love you. You're yes. such a great supporter. Um, hi to all. Karen, what was it like knowing your character was going to save the day by kneeing Ivan Ooze in the groin by using Ninja Megazord? LOL. I didn't know completely that that was going to happen. I didn't, I honestly didn't know. It was kind of, there was a few different endings. And when it wasn't until I went and did like the ADR that we actually saw the, the animated footage and how it all came out. And even then they just like, we were just doing our lines. And um, I remember, I think, you know, I said taking care of business or something in the movie, but like they had me like saying balls out and all this other, like there were all these other like crazy takes that I did, but I didn't know. I had no clue. It really wasn't until the premiere of the movie and one of the producers after the movie was done, she came up to me and was like, Aisha saved the day. Aisha saved the day. And I was like, oh my God. I said, I had no clue that that was even how it was going to be. So yeah, uh-huh. they, they, they're very tricky when they do movies like that, especially when they have like animation or things that they do after the fact, you don't get to see it in its entirety. So you don't really know how the story unfolds. Right. So it wasn't until we saw it, like actually saw 
the actual movie that I, I realized Aisha was a badass. <laughs> yeah, baby. And she, she should have saved the day. Yeah. <laughs> she was thinking outside of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, I was wrong. Here's Aisha. <laughs> I, I was wrong, Aisha, Karen. There's actually three. Three last questions. Are you okay, okay. with that? Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Um, Chanzo Tambuzi again. Super chat. Raise them up high. high. Chanzo Tambuzi. My cousin who is a gay black man. Uh, Aisha so much made, uh, you made him comfortable being the sassy one. I look back at how big he felt noticed. He loves you so much. Mm. Aww. That Aww. Sweet. Yay. Yeah. I love anybody who is their authentic self. Yes. Their authentic self. I love that. All right. We have... Two, two left. Do you want to I make can, sure? Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate I would, it. Would that. Because therefore, I won't be lying and be like, uh, you only got one more left, oh. and then you spin that thing, and then there's more. Oh, right. Okay. No, Chanzo was actually. Nope, no, no, no. No, the next one is Chris Kolka. Chris Kolka. De Kolka. De Kolka. De Kolka. One of our members. Kolka Cabana. <laughs> Love you, Chris. One of our wonderful supporters and members. How was it seeing yourself on the TV and the big screen? It was a dream come true. I, I'm one of those people I don't necessarily watch myself too much. Like, I will watch just to kind of see. But, um, yeah, it was a dream come true. It was everything I'd hoped for since I was a little girl in front of the mirror pretending to be somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. would say the same thing. I remember I went to go see the – Turbo movie, I went with some friends of mine, and to see my face just so fat on that screen, <laughs> I was like, good Lord, that's a big face. <laughs> but I was so happy. <laughs> there has never been anything fat on you. I can't even imagine. <laughs> I was very happy. I was very happy to see that. It was very, very sweet. All right, this so is funny. indeed the last question, right? All right, yes. yes. Chanzo Tambuzi once again. Super chat. Raise them up high. Super chat. Oh, oh see. Super. Okay. Wait. <laughs> 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 you can't just say. Like, I'm giving, I'm giving you everything like I got. It up. She is. You gotta get the face. You gotta, you gotta have the face and go. Gang face. <laughs> yeah. Because it's that nasty. <laughs> You're way too comfortable with that. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. You sure do. Yes. We've seen it many times. Yes. <laughs> um, I have been. And you're welcome. I've been <laughs> saving my paycheck for this live conversation. Oh, oh, I've been saving my paycheck for this live conversation. What was the first thing you bought with your paycheck? Oh, wow. That's so sweet. With, waiting with your, for you. With your tw $2 that you got from Fubon, <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> Food? <laughs> You know what we actually did? Me, Johnny, and Steve, the first thing we did was get shelter. They moved us all from Texas. And so, like, the first two weeks of the show, we had, like, a two- or three-week period where they had us in a hotel. But after that three weeks, we had to, like, get a house. We had to, like, figure out our life. So we all got apartments. Um, we rented our first apartments. Did they – supplement the income or pay they for them? Did. Okay. They did. I will say that they gave us an amount and it was enough to ship our cars to um, pay a deposit and, and get us an apartment. And we were able to set up our, you know, set up shop. Um, so yeah, they actually did. And you and Johnny lived in the same complex, I remember. Me, Johnny, and Steve. We oh, all lived too? in the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. the Johnny was like literally like I lived upstairs and Johnny lived like downstairs right across from me. And then Steve lived just on the opposite end. And then but, yeah. Aaron and I actually lived in the same apartment complex briefly, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, a little was, bit. Was, yeah. Was yeah. Party in the in the building. She was, she oh, had, there was yeah. A lot of parties going on over there. Every, every day we were partying. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing that. She was doing that. I mean, I think about it. We're like 18, 19 years old. So it was like, I'm free. You know, yeah. it wasn't, I was literally in high school. And then two months later I was doing Power Rangers yeah. and living in California. 
California. So it was like no parental supervision, right. no rules. This is my world. I'm going to do it. Yes. So, yes. I remember yeah. the feeling. That's how I felt when I came to college. I, my parents dropped I'm me free. off. That's it. I was like, I'm free at last. Yeah. <laughs> my mom was <laughs> crying. She dropped me off. She was crying. I was like, it's, I literally remember saying, you're going to be okay, mom. It's going to be all right. And yes. as soon as she got in the car, I was like, whoa. I was, it was. It's going. Yeah. And, and like, literally we had like, she we got on the show and then one month later we were in Australia where 18 year olds are of legal age to drink, gamble and be yes. God knows. Do God, Whatever you we want, did God Australia. knows what. Yeah. I just remember there were a couple of nights we'd woke up and we didn't, I didn't know where I was. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it was all good though. It was all good. Well, I was safe. I was taken care of. The but, in Australia yeah. don't close. They're open. Can you imagine? It's like college, but in a foreign country. <laughs> I, used to, I used to live right near where you guys were filming. I, I didn't know you at that point, but I would be jogging to the gym and you'd see people stumbling out of the, at like seven o'clock in the morning, like trying to get them. Wow. Yeah, out of the clubs. Wow. I luckily wasn't like much of a drinker, but it was like I wanted to dance and party all night long. So, yeah, well, you did. You enjoyed yourself. We <laughs> did. Karen, thank you yes. so much. We love Round of you. applause to our beauty. Yeah. We love you. We you, miss you. Yes, yes. And, uh, I know. I miss you guys so much. We got to have like a social distance yes. breakfast something. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's so crazy. But I miss you guys so much. I thank you so much for having me. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are doing it. I love it. You guys know. Thank Ain't you. nothing but love, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you. We'll love talk to you, you soon. Both of those. <laughs> yeah, catch them. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's so awesome. The fact that she even stayed as long as she did, that just shows just true friendship. And I, I'm so yes. appreciative. We just have such a a wonderful Power Ranger family that yes. is just, they want to answer your guys' questions. Um, I'm just going to answer two of them that, that weren't here because I don't want you guys to feel neglected at all. A uh, box of chocolates. Imagine how much more popular Power Rangers would be if it was owned by Disney again instead of, actually I should put it here. Instead of Hasbro. Uh, instead of Hasbro. But on the plus side, I'm glad Hasbro's taking a turn at the franchise. Yeah, there's a, I hear different changes that are coming. Um, not, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. see how positive they are or, yes. or not. Um, and just one more because I know you have to go um, yes, too. Yes, let's do. You choose one. Um, let's do Twinkle Rising Star because I Click just love your one. name. Twinkle Rising Star. That's so cute. I think the girls from the first 10 seasons are better and friendlier than the ones in the mid-seasons, like from Jungle Fury or Megaforce. Um I'm sorry that you didn't have a positive experience. I, I, we have found that no matter what season we meet, it's like they're our little sisters. We just immediately are, are connected. And, um, yeah, I've, I've found them all to be wonderful. But I'm sorry that you didn't have a good experience. But we love you. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. There is a uh, super chat that came oh, here. Uh -oh. um, I know that you... I, gonna... You know what? You guys are going to be used to my schedule now. Um, guess where I have to go? <laughs> to take my son to swim. Yeah, and this time we're not going to stay on. We're actually going to end. But that's why we started earlier this year, just so that we could have Kat here and that we would be able to... Um, answer you know your questions as much as we can and, and we would love to know if you guys like this time two o'clock or if you prefer it to be three o'clock um in october i think my schedule changes a little bit so i'll be able to do three o'clock if that works better but we thought this would work well for the people that are overseas because it's you know yeah a little early. bit earlier and yeah. scott super chat, super chat. Raise, raise my pie, pie. you're welcome you're yes. welcome um just wanted to tell you guys before we go we have this it's going to cut into cat's head a little bit she might want to i'll go under bit. yeah <laughs> uh we are having a five day sale where you can get one of these t-shirts there's long sleeves or shirt sleeves combined with our photo book um at a discounted rate you can get it signed or unsigned um that is a combo deal on our website right now and it's only going to last now until sunday, sunday. And then we also have the combo deal back up from now until Sunday, 
which are the photo books signed or unsigned with one of our masks. Yes, yeah. yes, and our masks are very comfortable. They're really cozy, nice, soft material. So yeah. they've been quite popular. Yes, and our photo book is is really amazing, and everybody that's bought it really loves it. So yeah, so, yeah, so it's a good opportunity, and the holidays are coming. Christmas. Yeah, we'll Early come up Christmas with something. Christmas. We'll come. We're, we're we're coming up with some more we're ideas. Throwing out some ideas. Yeah, for our for our website. And as you guys can see, many people have asked us about membership. So, if you look at this uh, button, this little overlay right here, this little thing, it talks about oh, Patreon or YouTube. <laughs> um, you can become a Patreon member or YouTube member. It's all, we're all in the same family. You'll still be able to be a part of our discord. You'll still get the all member chat. You'll get, depending on what level you choose, you may get a video chat with us. Those are our higher tiers, but it goes from $3.99 to $50, depending on, and obviously the on your budget. Yeah, yeah. So we work with all all budgets, and you can mm -hmm. just click the link below. But and we love to spoil our members. Yes. We we do giveaways every month for our members. We do member spotlights. We have all kinds of fun things. We love to interact with you. We have all member chats. It's it's been such a blessing to us, especially during this Corona coaster that we're all on. So, and I just want to say this before we leave because we do have a couple of members that have not emailed us. So we have not yes. gotten you your perks packets. Uh, one of them is Hakil. Um, another one is Ricky Dean. Um, email us at powerrangersplayback at gmail.com so that we can get you your, 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 your perks packet. And at the, the bottom page, it has your little discount code where you can go on our website and you can uh, apply your discount code to whatever. So thank you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. We um, love you. We'll, we'll be back you. next month. Next month. Next month. We have another guest and we won't have um, lives every week like we did this time. This was a special MMPR month. Yes, it was. Um, so stay tuned to an episode, a playback episode next week. And actually it will have your very, your very own Karen Ashley. It will be, um, where, what is smoke, the, where there's smoke, there's fire. So, yes. bye! Bye! <laughs>